any questions from the board at this time? I'm sorry, Chairman. Yes, Ms. Carmella uh, just reminded me to give you all the TRC staff recommendation. No one had any problems uh, with their proposal. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone? I have a question. Not that it matters, yes, but I just am curious yes, as to why it was recommended for them to get a variance as opposed to resign. Yes, very good question. I talked with Ms. Carmella about that, um, assuming that that question came up for you as it did for us, looking at the two lots north of them. That was a rezoning case that took, took place back in 1998. And um, although it was approved by our leaders, staff rec recommendation for the site was no. And in talking with Ms. Carmella, that was my question. Well, why don't we go that route? And she said because it would be more riskier for them to go the rezoning route because staff would not be able to support. Any other questions? Thank you, Deborah. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Anybody like to add anything? Yes, please. So I don't have much to add other than what's in the face other than that. My name's Shane McGee. And Ed where I live right now yeah. is 6 Cherry Point, Boston, So my grandfather purchased the one lot back in 1992 and built a house on that lot, which was a one acre lot. And in 2004, he purchased the lot next to him, which was one of the ones in question. Um, for the strict reason for me to build a house on the property later, we had no idea that we were going to face this or that it was an issue because I guess we assumed it was kind of grandfathered in since the lot was. <coughs> Any discussions? Anything you'd like to add, sir? She's she got Yeah, there was actually an overhaul on the property when he purchased it. He removed the mobile home and and turned it and put a new mobile home on the property in 2004. And it was removed in 2009. And it was in the yeah. One, one question I'd like to ask you know, uh, we built our house, we didn't have any problems with permits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, 92, 3, and then I purchased this other one that had a trailer on it. We moved that trailer and put a bigger trailer on it, used it a few years, and got rid of that trailer. Didn't have any problems there. So why, you know, we want to build a house on it, we had any problems? Things changed and the rules changed a little bit, and that's what triggered it. People that own lesser land than the five acres, that is what is required to build on, right? Five acres. You want to build a house? No, no, no. Not in all cases. Not, not in, yeah. But anyway, look like when, when they change the laws, people own in these single lots, what do they do with it? I, I paid taxes on both of them all these years, and, you know. No problem as long as I'm paying back, but we'll do something with one, I, I, we've got a problem with it. Yes. So I, I just wanted y'all to understand kind of the history of it. I don't know. Until somebody starts trying to do something, it generally doesn't trigger anything to call attention to. Is that about? That's true, Chairman. And as I shared with Ms. Shannon, you know, when we know better, we do better. You know, we do a better job now in certain things. And, you know, when we issue the permit for them for the double wide, and that's, I would guess it's done in error. But, Greg, this point, we're going to fix it. We're going to take care of it. Yes. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.
Is anyone here in opposition or does anyone have any questions about what's being requested? Is there any contact to your office called out? Deborah. Yes, it's the West Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, the, the property owner uh, who owns the piece north of, of our most northern piece that we're bringing to you today, he was here. Um, he said he had got summons to leave uh, for his job. But he, he wanted me to relay his concerns. Of, he said that he moved his daughter out there in a double-wide mobile home um, in, in hopes of, of the area uh, continuing to be, to be spacious, basically. And he was just concerned um, with uh, Shannon's proposal to build a home on that line that that would take away from that line. Any other questions? Any other discussions? Yes, sir. The, the other lot there that's behind her home she wants to build is, has the trailer on it now. It's been there for several years. So, I mean, we just want to build it. And it, it's, it won't be an economy home. It's going to be a nice home. Not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other discussions? I entertain a motion on this request. I make a motion that we approve their request as submitted, citing criteria D. I second that. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Unanimous. Good luck with you. Thank you. Thank you. Now can we get along? <laughs> that, that, that's, that's beyond our capability, <laughs> sir. She's in the bill now. She's had that. Just pray this going. The long interest of the book. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Make it look good, please. Okay, the next case we'll call is Lowndes County VAR 2018-19 Miller Estate. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to no, cut you no, off no. when I was talking to Carmel. No, I'm, I'm, I'm bad to go back to old habits. <laughs> Could be a private road with a uh, right-of-way. 
Um, the private road would just have to be built to county standards as if it was a county maintained road, which in this case is not Okay, so um, could they get a, uh, never mind. I was thinking about an easement of some sort through that 60 yeah, feet so that it could be wide enough for, rather than having three driveways go <coughs> out to the back, to have one decent driveway go to the lot. Actually, on the flat, that's what they're proposing. There's going to be a 60 foot easement where all three of those lots will share that one driveway and they'll each go off to their own individual lots. So they are going to make an easement. Mm -hmm. But each of the lots will only own 20 feet of it. Okay. Deborah, yes. can you help me understand um, when this plat was done? Yes, sir. It's got so many different provision dates on it. Yes, sir. I, I did speak with folks um, surveying <coughs> personally, Nathan, the other day. Um, I actually spoke with staff, Sandy and uh, Stan, uh, the actual surveyor, was, was you know, <coughs> in our conversation. And he just explained to me that he has been working with the family on this project since 08. And they have basically uh, exhausted um, different uh, avenues as to how to come to some point where the family would agree. Have there been prior submittals of different designs to the county? Or this, to this us? Thing? I'm not aware of them actually being submitted to us, but I believe that at the long table meeting at the at Stan's office that they went through the various um, options there okay. before they actually agreed to submit this to us. Okay. Any other questions? Any discussion? Anybody here would like to speak on behalf? All right, I'm Michelle with teaching. I'm the one that actually submitted the applicant. My address is 101 Jackson Drive, and I lost to Georgia. And I'm the youngest of the crew. <laughs> what has happened, different ones have passed on. And so each time someone passed, try to get together, try to get it done. Flops. Try to get together, get it done. Someone else passes. So now my aunt recently passed last year. And because um, I'm a great grandchild, so, so this is like a third generation. And so I just told them, okay, y'all up at age, I'm just gonna try to get this done. So this is where we're at, trying to get it all done and separated before anyone else passes away. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Thank you very much. Anything else anybody would like to add or <clears throat> okay, is there anyone here in opposition? I have a question. I don't see anybody. I have, I have one more question. Go ahead. On here it says lots two A, D, and E, those are the ones we're talking about, and then school skiing driveways, are not developable lots. Does that mean they can't put a house on them? Correct. So they can't do anything there. They want the ownership. They, they're not worried about developing, they want the ownership, the separation. They want the separation. Okie dokie. What is mine? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Was there any response to your office never? Yes, sir. Uh, we did receive a call from two citizens on this, uh, and they each were simply inquiring as to what, what were we going to do. <coughs> your red sign on me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Any other discussions from the board? Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, can I get a motion on this request? I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the variance as requested signing criteria D. I have motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor, raise your hand, please. Unanimous. Good luck with it. Hope everybody yes. gets settled and out. Good shape now. Thank you, all Nice. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda approval of the minutes that. Uh, Am 
anybody got any changes, any deletions, additions, corrections? Can I get a motion on the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have, who was that, Rich? Okay. You got it. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, please make a note that Mr. Alvarado has a court situation that he had to skedaddle. That's why he did not vote. No, I'm not going to use the word skedaddle. Sure. <laughs> I think most people in South Georgia know what skedaddle means. Okay, now, now to some serious business. Nomination of chairman and vice chairman. We have two slates. Uh, is there any reason anybody wants to reopen nomination just so that we can have it in the minutes? Okay. Slate one, Alan Strickland to remain as chairman. Back the call for vice chair. Anybody make a motion to accept? I thought these were already in, meant that these were our nominees only needed to do with the vote. Well, when I say this, except I'm not on the vote, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Late one. All in favor, raise your hand. All right. <laughs> For slate two. All in favor, raise your hand. Well, we didn't have a majority on either team. On either side, we got one vote for the first and the second. Do y'all have to do you have a preference? Um, well, what do you want to do? You two tell us y'all's preference. Yeah. And then we'll vote. I say it like it is. It's my preference. But that's that you might not want to. No, so. that's that's fine. You and I talked about it quite before we get it when I got here. It doesn't matter. I will be glad to continue to serve if that's what you want. If you want new blood, then I'll let that happen. And if y'all prefer new blood, I'm if that's what you want, I'm I'm fine with that too. I just Right. Either way is fine with me. I'll just put that out there. Do we need to tear up some paper bits and vote it? No. All right, all in, let's back up. All in favor of the slate number one, me as chair, Mac continuing as vice chair. Please raise your hand. One, two. All in favor of slate two, raise your hand. One, two, three. All right, we got a three to two. Does that, can, is that going to be a working vote or do it? <laughs> okay. Slate two is accepted. Can we go back in the bottom? And you are not allowed to take your way to do Okay. So effective January one, Mac will take over and I get to sit in a a peon chair. <laughs> you get to be a voter. You get to vote. You get to vote. You get to vote. After all these years, I get to say, hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, discussion of the holiday gathering. Did anybody thought about it? I was trying to get it started earlier this month instead of waiting until December and have all the dates gone or whatever. Open, we're open. We can. We want to do it. We can do it here after the December meeting. We've done that in the past. And we will have a December meeting, but county and city have two nights. Okay. One each. We have one We can do it here after the December meeting if that's your choice. Nancy has been gracious enough to let us use her house two or three times. <laughs> If she's not tired of cleaning up behind us, we won't wear out our welcome. Have we ever done it at a, a restaurant or just had dinner or something? 
years ago when there was a fund available, we did. If we don't do it in a restaurant, we'll probably have to go do it. Yeah. Tagged on one of the other groups. Yeah, yeah we went with the planning commission a couple of years ago altogether. Yeah. We did that before. Um, and budget funding, that's, that's the biggest thing. But we can always go back to that. Whatever is your choice. Anybody got any suggestions, recommendations? I like the idea of having spouses there. I, mean, I, I kind of thought that was nice at Nancy's house last year. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm not saying <laughs> nominate your house. I'm not on the restaurant. I thought the restaurant was fine. So we can. Yeah, I don't I, we can, you know, any particular restaurant. Anybody got any so suggestions? Sure we can have a small area so that it. Yeah, so it becomes more intimate with our group. Then we can visit. At Bernie's place downtown does the Bar Association Christmas party. Oh, now it's, it's a much bigger you know, group, but they do a good job. I don't know how expensive it would be. That back room that mom and dad, our, our Sunday school class uses it. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good place. My preference would be to do it before like the 12th, you know, to do it at the beginning of the month, until mm -hmm. the end of the month. Mm -hmm. so it's just too busy. Mm -hmm. I would like mom and dad to be fine with me. I'm going be good. Well, the thing of that, we need this one. A day? Is it Tuesday? Is that? Anybody got a preference for the day of the week? How about the same night on our meeting? Tuesday, the 4th. Yeah. And that way we got a reminder. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. We won't forget it. As an option number two, if you want just in case mom and dad's book, you will have them. Opinion um, of option number two. I know Austin's does a private one. I like Austin. Just as a backup, if mom and dad has a problem, you buy Austin. Carmela, do they do it in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. There's. Um, I know, but you feel like you're in a hotel room. Didn't put together. <laughs> I mean, really. We're going to have your spouse. I'm not going to have Yeah, I know. It's, it is. We don't have a lot of choices. <coughs> Anyone else? Because it wouldn't nickel and get back in my back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean, <laughs> we used to have on that. Um, what was it called? Fiddler's Green, or what was it called after that? We used to have them out there. There's a new place out there now that Jack's Chop. Yeah, Chop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, still. I, I mean, I had some out there. Did anybody get out there? I've heard it's good. I've never eaten there. Who's that? Does Jack's have a back room up there now? I don't know. We might check there. It's in the same neighborhood as Pump Dead. Who was that? Jack's. The old Fiddler's Green. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Chop. Yeah. Oh, it's called Chop. Jack's Chop. Oh, that's a Fiddler's Green. Charlie Trippers, Charlie Trippers, called Charlie. The old Charlie Trippers. Before, before that, it was Fiddlers. Long time ago. Long time ago. Tell it on myself. Okay. Uh, how about contacting everybody by email? Let's not wait. Email the end to talk to Randy. Okay, ZBOA schedule for 19. They've been good enough to send it to you. Yeah. January, we moved it, proposed to the 8th because of the falling all New Year situation. And I don't think anybody's going to much be here for New Year's. And the only other one, July 4th was not a problem because we're going to meet before the 4th. So hopefully we won't have everybody traveling early in that week, but if it comes up, then we'll have to deal with it. Does anybody have any plans for that entire week at this point? And then September, we got Labor Day, which is going to push us to the 10th. Or even if we adopt it, we can adjust it if we need to at a later point. Anybody got any 
Anybody got any heartache with your proposed schedule? Do we need a vote to adopt it or we just administratively? I have a motion to approve. I have a second, somebody? I have a second, Nancy. Oh. I thought I heard Nancy. Nancy can have it. Oh, okay. I was looking this way and Nancy did like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your attention and your going out and looking at cases. Thank you very much. We stand adjourned. <laughs> Congratulations.